Shalom, 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 shalom. This is your brother, Yayo Ezra Ben Levy, coming at you with another quick video. Now, this time I want to come out of the um, Gospel of St. Matthew. I will be doing this reading out of the King James Version. I want to focus on Matthew chapter 23. I'm going to read verses 1 through 3. And it reads as such. Then spake Jesus to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do. But do not ye after their works, for they say and do not. Now, most of my Christian friends and family, when I ask them what do they notice in verse 3, they always gravitate to the last part of verse 3. And to be honest, most Christians focus solely on the last part of verse 3 all the way to the end of the chapter. Because all they get out of this is the, um, the Pharisees are hypocrites. That's all they get out of that. But the one thing they overlook and they purposely overlook it is when Jesus said, this is verse three. Oh, let me read verse two. The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do. They want to act like that part don't even exist. Because one thing about it, if he is your master and your Lord and God forbid, he's even your God. Why don't you listen to him? Because he tell you, to obey the Pharisees because they sit in the seat of Moses, which means when they are expounding and teaching the Torah, you are to hearken to what they say. And some of you even call me a Pharisee. So if I'm a Pharisee, according to your dear Jesus, you're supposed to listen to me. So why are you not obeying him? Shalom.